FLT stands for the first law of no dynamics. Our group is going to conduct an experiment to build a mini rocket to prove the first law of no dynamics. First law say that energy can be changed from one form to another, but it cannot be created or destroyed. Energy is always conserved. For example, light bulbs transform electrical energy into light energy. Humans convert chemical energy in food into the kinetic energy. The things needed are aluminium foil, candle, paper clips, matches, and a pair of scissors. For this simple rocket experiment, we made two types of rocket. The first type of rocket did not have a match head. What we did was, we rolled an empty piece of aluminium foil on a paper clip. We then set the angle of the pin to about 45 degrees and secured it on a base made from crumpled aluminium foil. In this experiment, the rocket is the system and this is the surrounding. This is the result when we supply heat to the rocket. The rocket turned black. For the second type of rocket, a match head was used in its construction. The match head was cut from a match stick. It was placed one inch above the end of an aluminium foil. Next, a paper clip was then inserted in such a way that the tip of the paper clip comes into contact with the match head. The aluminium foil was then rolled on the paper clip and the excess part on top of the rocket head was cut off. Once this has been done, we set the angle of the pin to about 45 degrees and secured it on the aluminium foil base. The rocket flew and is there. For the first experiment, the rocket did not have the match head. According to the first law of thermodynamics, delta U equals to Q plus W. In the case of the rocket without the match head, no work has been done. Therefore, W is equals to zero. Hence, delta U equals to Q. On the other hand, delta U is positive and there is an increase in temperature of the rocket head, which is made up of the aluminium foil. Q is also positive as heat has been supplied to the system by the candle flame. For the second experiment with the presence of match head, it can be analyzed in two parts. First, the moment the match head is ignited, the rocket will gain a huge amount of heat energy from the match head, which is quickly converted into internal energy. Hence, the system has a huge amount of internal energy and is used to do work. For the second part, when the rocket starts to propel, work is done by the system. Hence, W goes to negative. On the other hand, heat is released by the system. Therefore, Q is equals to negative. Delta U is negative due to the heat of combustion and there is no change in the volume of the system. Hence, the first law is said to be obeyed.